I'm gonna call our champion, the rock star of our engagement in Z, Madhulika Ghosh, to talk more about it. Madhulika. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you for coming. Absolutely pleasure to hosting you. Um, so can you talk more about your professional identity, what you work, and maybe a little introduction to the crowd? Yeah, so thanks, Jatender, for uh, giving me this opportunity. And I'm really very thrilled to be part of this day. Uh, I'm working as a back-end lead in Z5, and I am working into a few of the dynamic initiatives which are uh, related to customer engagement and gamification domain. So during my tenure, I have worked into various services, uh, if I have to mention. So uh, recently, I have worked on uh, Ask Me Anything. Uh, so that's an application where end users can come and interact with their favorite celebrities. They can have a Q&A session, personal session, interact with them, have a live video and audio chat. Apart from that, uh, recently, I've also worked into a gameplay application, uh, which is a, a housey just very similar to Tambola and a bingo game, but uh, definitely in a unique and you know, uh, innovative uh, manner. So this application is handled, uh, it's designed to handle 5,000 transaction uh, per second. Uh, yeah, that's a short. Thank you, thank you so much. So I know it's gonna be a rapid fire, so hang on with me uh, because the crowd is getting hungry. <laughs> right, so can you uh, talk more about what leads to our initial engagement and how Redis and uh, Z engages together? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. So initially, all the uh, services of Z5, they were deployed into uh, AWS Cloud. And uh, for the caching solutions, we were always relying on the Elastic Cache and fewer of the applications we used to use uh, Memcache. But then Redis Enterprise team, they onboarded, and we had a structure-by-structure structure ac exercise to know the expenditure that we were doing in USDs. So here, I want to highlight two points. So point number one, that we had a very uh, deep dive uh, activity, application-by-application, application, charter-wise, where we got to know that how much amount we are currently burning versus how much amount it could be saved. And then second point, the team came up, onboarded, and we were also having GCP migration, and the team showcased their uh, capability. We could smoothly transition from the Elastic Cache to uh, uh, Redis Enterprise. And uh, I really want to call it out uh, that Jitender, the solution architecture team, he, uh, he was always available, and the developer, they used to come and ping any hour of the day, but the team has seamlessly facilitated the comprehensive understanding of the features and the Redis Enterprise, and it had been a very smooth journey to migrate from Elastic Cache to Redis Enterprise. Thank That's where the journey began. Thank you. This was not planned, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so can you uh, talk more about how we are, or how you are currently using, or your organization using currently Redis so yeah, definitely Redis uh, is just not a caching solution for Z5. It's a corner store to all our applications. Apart from caching, uh, definitely most of the applications we are using uh, Redis as a caching. But now, recently, we have started uh, uh, seeing other capabilities of Redis, like for the houses that I have mentioned previously. We had used Redis as a primary uh, database. That's a persistence layer. And we could conclude that Redis can be used as a primary DB. Apart from that, recently I'm also working in uh, one of the interesting feature ILT league where we are going to live stream the cricket match, which is related to this ILT. There we had a special use case. We wanted to send server side events on the uh, front end. There we wanted to uh, have an event driven system. So we had a thought in our mind, why not using Redis streams? Uh, so we, we used to publish the events uh, and consume through the Redis streams and then emit these events to Flux. And uh, really, it, fit, it went very well. It fit uh, our use case very well. And we could uh, also you know, got an introduction with the Redis streams as well. Apart from that, we also have used PubSub uh, for uh, real-time notification. And we are also exploring some of the uh, other advanced features, like the auto-tearing features, where we want to you know, persist the data for the longer time, which are not accessed so frequently. Thank you. That's the plan. The, um, another thing I want to highlight here as a part of our uh, onboarding and have a discussion with the Z guys. So Z has more than 1,000 developers across 16 different organizations and maybe a couple of new you know, startups they are still hiring and keep on hiring. Um, the, 
amazing thing, the insight that we had given to their CTO is they no idea, they have no idea who and which team is spending how much on Elastic Cash, right? So we give them the consolidated list as a part of this analysis, where they not only save the cost, but they identified who is accountable for this, and they have to justify why they are spinning up so much on that. So that went very well. That is the amazing journey so far. So um, can you talk more about what are the advanced uh, use cases you are still figuring out, maybe in phase one, phase two, post-migration, things like that? Uh, sure. So uh, I remember that when I was uh, leading this housey uh, gameplay application, we had a special use case where we used to create games uh, uh, like any hour of the day and a uh, lot of metadata related to the, these games were coming on the way like uh, the participation, the tickets data. And we had, we had to modify the state of the database based on the state of this game. Uh, so uh, most of the, uh, so what we did is we wrote a function on the server side uh, to uh, change the state of this data. But somewhere uh, we, uh, we felt that this function is very operation heavy and it was very costly. So I reached to uh, Jitender and I told him that this was the problem and there he introduced uh, to me the triggers and functions where we uh, did a POC, uh, we did a quick POC and you really gave a very clear understanding about that. And I think uh, after implementing that trigger and function, that use case was uh, really boiled down to a very simpler problem and there was the solution. Uh, apart from that, as I already mentioned, that for uh, simpler use cases, we are uh, like uh, for even driven system, we are uh, trying to uh, use uh, uh, Redis streams instead of uh, Confluent and Kafka. And uh, like we also have, since we also have a lot of data, we are uh, trying to uh, have analytics on top of it and we are thinking to uh, explore uh, Redis on Flash to uh, store the data and perform analytics on top of it. Sounds good. So just to simplify, so they were having Confluent, Redis, Mongo, and Scylla, right? To solve this one use case. On the same box, we implemented Redis instead of Kafka. Cache is already there. To store your analytical load, we have Redis on Flash and just one simple box. We immediately save them three different technology costs just like that. Right. right, so the last and final question and then we'll let everybody go. How do you see the future of uh, Z and Redis together? So yeah, definitely as you mentioned that uh, in our services, uh, so we are trying to simplify our uh, services uh, where we are using multiple technologies and being Redis versatile and um, multi-model, we are trying to uh, power up our application with the plugin features which Redis definitely provides out of the box. Uh, since Z is also planning to be multi-cloud, we are somewhere exploring the possibilities in Azure, like uh, how the Redis uh, enterprise team has supported during the GCP migration. Definitely uh, Redis Enterprise is going to be hand in hand in Azure as well and the same support we are going to get, we are really confident about it. And uh, if I really have to summarize that how is the future goal of Redis Enterprise with uh, Z, I think uh, it's uh, not a vendor, but definitely a very strong and successful partner. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Madhulika, the rock star. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thanks so much. Absolutely pleasure to Thank have you, ma'am.